Salutations, Internet. Welcome back to Dewombat Gaming. I'm Dewombat, and we're about to embark on our first seal map on our Fresh Starts file for Against the Storm, patch 1.5. Uh, the first seal is the bronze seal. Uh, it's going to be really easy. And it will extend the blight cycle by eight years. So I'll have a, f a further eight years next time I go to the next seal. And I could play it on veteran. But I'm going to play it on settler. I'm going to play it on the easiest difficulty just so I can do it faster. And I'll probably do another game in this same stream uh i'm gonna play with eight humans because that's two more people and workers are more important in numbers than they are in type of worker and i have a total of eight embarkation points so i can take everything that is offered to me here and we'll name this one uh town of town. It's the town of town. So, for anybody that has not seen a seal map before, hostility works differently. On a normal map, your hostility increases for how many woodcutters you have, and then your population how many years. The population and years are the same on a seal, but instead of per woodcutter, your hostility increases per tree you chop down. I imagine that the devs of this game may have considered uh, the per tree hostility when they first made the game. That It seems to make more sense to me than active woodcutters. Uh, but it's far more punishing than the current system, so I understand why it's only on the final map, so to speak. Uh, but there's real big trees that you can chop, and if you just focus on cutting down them, you'll manage your hostility just fine. And then the main goal, rather than making the queen pleased with you, is to find the seal and do a bunch of small goals for the seal in order to repair it, seal it up, so that the old eldritch horrors can't break out. And if I'm on the easiest difficulty, my people don't eat as much food, and the storms aren't nearly as bad. So I get extra berries... I gained 30 insects for each discovered glade at the start. <laughs> wow, okay. Or, okay, if I discover a glade during drizzle, I gain 30 insects. And then the storm is real basic. Nothing bad will happen. Okay. Uh, humans don't eat pickles, so I don't really need a granary. I don't know if I would pick any of these to start with. Can I re-roll already? I can. I'm going to re-roll. I don't like any of those. Stamping mill is good to make copper bars. This also makes copper bars, but I don't care about training gear or pie for that matter. Yeah, I'll take the stamping mill. The press lets me make oil. Oil's really good, but I won't pick it immediately. So the other thing about this map is that you have to find the seal. It's in a random location. It's going to be in a dangerous glade somewhere. Uh, and I have to cut into a glade to begin with to have any idea of which way I should be going. I'm going to cut into this dangerous glade first and hope that it's the right direction. And I don't like where those mushrooms are. Move it like this. There we go. Get to work, humies. Filthy humies. I guess, since I don't want to chop down extra trees, I should set it so that they only chop down marked trees. And if that's the case, I don't need two woodcutters there, so I will employ another woodcutter over here to cut into these big trees. You can see the difference, right? Here, these are big trees, these are normal sized trees, and the trees do in fact have faces in them. I also got a new mouse, so my scroll wheel is less, uh... Actually, let's do it like this. Less responsive, unfortunately. I bet I can find a way to fix that, but... 
who is watching my stream? It says I have two viewers. I don't count, do I? Maybe I do. Alright, they have built their stuff. We will make a stonecutter's camp to get this clay. And cornerstone from the queen. What do we got? Oh, skewers for pickled goods is one of the best. My problem is... Humans don't care for either. But if I produce pickles, I'll get free skewers. I mean, this is just the one to do. It's, it's super overpowered. So now I do want a pickle producer. Which is why often you should not pick your first blueprints until you see what your first cornerstone is. But I was impatient... Not really thinking, and I'm on the easiest difficulty, so it's not going to punish me. Okay, and... Oh, good! I was right to go in this direction. So you can see, this guidance stone here is pointing in this direction. Uh, so it's... I think it's pretty much guaranteed this is the seal right here. So that's convenient. Once I've opened this, I can also uh, salvage this right here. If you see, it gives me 10 stone and 5 resin if I salvage it. That's nice. And what do I have in this glade? More clay, a big copperfin trout pond, a bunch of fertile soil, one medium cache, and a dangerous event. I don't have any amber to start with, and you don't actually have to get rep to win this one. And we're on the easiest difficulty. I'm just going to burn it down. It'll give me so much stuff if I burn it down. And my orders. Oh, also on the easiest difficulty, you get, like, three more orders, I think? This is really filled up. Discover glades. Dis deliver eggs. I'm going to deliver eggs, because I'll immediately get two villagers if I do this. Deliver planks or deliver building materials and increase my plank production. I'll take that. Rich harvest. Yeah, that sounds fine to me. I got a lizard. I'm immediately going to employ them as the hearth person. Makes people happier. And now that I know what's in my glades, I'll take... Ooh, pottery. Hmm. I don't need to be able to make bricks really well, but pottery is something that I can put pickles in, and I know I have access to clay. So yes, I will take that for pottery. A fishing hut will let me fish, or an herb garden will let me farm. And I do not need a trapper's camp. It's kind of a toss-up. Do I have a coin? I have my wallet right here. I do have a coin. Give me... Do I have a, a quarter? A satisfying coin? I do. Alright. Heads is fishing hut, and tails is herb garden. Uh... Which one? This is a weird quarter. That was tails. Alright, herb garden it is. Oh, and there's the granary that I rolled away before. Well, that'll let me make pickles, which is exactly what I want to do. So, things are looking up. Okay. Great. Uh, I do not need these woodcutters employed here any longer. Although, I should just do what I can to cut into this glade. So maybe I should keep employing them. I'm going to put one extra one here to finish that faster. And there we go. Did I pick the... I, oh, right, I turned that one in. That's right. I need to make fabric. I don't have any way to make fabric. Can the trees give me... Oh, interesting. At the moment, I have no way to make fabric, so I'm going to have to buy it, or... What stuff in this biome lets... Apparently there are reed deposits, 
somewhere in this biome. That will let me make fabric if I can find some. Or I can just call this trader and trade for it. Pause. My workers just built the trade. Uh, I should... Can I get this going immediately? I might be able to if they build this quickly. Farmers will build fields to then plant in, so you don't have to worry about having other workers to build them. Did any of my others? No, these are not giving extra people. Now, I could skip opening this glade this year and get an extra 30 insects, but I think it's better to get the seal so I can start working on the seal requirements to actually win. And that's finished. Easy peasy. My farmers have gathered. Should probably make some houses. Move this so that it's not in the way. We are one tree away from finding out if this is indeed what I think it is. And I really want to make the granary, but once again, I do not have any fabric, so I can't build it right now. Okay, what's in here? Large broodmother, large root node, some sea marrow, the seal, obviously. There it is. <laughs> Uh, and some caches and some fallen human explorers. Okay. Uh, so that means I can delete this now, get some resin and stone. The fallen human explorers, if I rob them, it will make my humans sad. But it will also make everybody move 10% faster for the rest of the settlement. And my humans can be sad. If you notice, my hostility is currently at zero. <laughs> So it doesn't really matter if my humans are upset because the storm is not going to do anything bad to us. It really is uh, wild to play this game on a difficulty that is so low. Like there's barely anything that you need to do to prevent yourself from losing and that's okay. Right, uh, the seal, now I think about it. Uh, another aspect of this map is the storm has a random thing that happens, and in this case, the next storm is going to have the Plague of Mosquitoes, which reduces everybody's work speed during the storm. That's not too bad. And then you have three options to make a heart for the Ancient Guardian, and then you'll also have three options to make blood, essence, and feathers. And each time you do one of these, you get an extra cornerstone from... Rahatil the Elder. The seal opens, unleashing the vengeful monstrosities trapped beneath. Hungry for revenge, they unleash plagues on the settlement with every storm. Your only chance of success is to collect four parts of the Ancient Guardian and close it. For each part, you must complete only one of the three objectives. Uh, I'm going to do the Heart of the Forest, because it's not hard to open or send caches, and I want to do them anyway. I could sacrifice wood and deliver wildfire essences. That wouldn't be hard either. And you could, like, deliver a bunch of packs. <coughs> Excuse me. But that would take longer. And I have 
these available to me right now. Ooh, this one has reeds. So I want to do that one. Who can I fire? You guys are carrying stuff back. You guys are working. I don't need these two working on clay right now. I do need to employ a couple to till the soil there. And we will break this one open with one other person. And the plague of mosquitoes happens. It's not a big deal. Oh, and they finished carrying that stuff back, so now I can also break open this one. Do I want to break open this one? Fish, veggies, and crystallized dew versus... Oh, both of them give reeds. More reeds. Yeah, I'll break open this one, too. Something I should also do... Oh, I don't have the fabric. I would make a small warehouse over here to make it easier to bring everything back from these. But I can't, because I don't have fabric. I would also like to make another hearth over here. Although once these are taken care of, I'm probably not even going to do anything in here. So it won't matter now that I think about it. Alright, Queenie. Discover a glade during the storm to gain tools. I, un I unlock the advanced form of every camp, but gathering speed is reduced until we have gathered 250 nodes. Eh... That's a lot of nodes. I think I'm going to win fast enough. This is actually worse. Like I do like the Master Blueprint. It's pretty nice to not have to get upgraded camps the old-fashioned way. But I think I'm just going to take the tools. Foxes! Okay. So this is also our first game with foxes. I will take them. Foxes are the best at doing events. Uh, in this case, it says it will take one minute if you employ a fox. They do it. They do it faster by I think five percent, but that adds up when you put them together. Uh, they also do not suffer from the forest's hostility. That doesn't really matter on lower difficulties, but on higher difficulties. You'll have the rest of your population sitting around maybe 8 resolve, and the foxes will still be at like 15, and so you can use your foxes to get your early resolve points relatively easily. Uh, and they like working in buildings that have blight rot cysts on them, which means you can make them comfortable in any building as long as you get a blight rot cyst on it. Which is something we're capable of doing later on. Not right now. We haven't unlocked everything. We need one more house. Also, uh, a fox firekeeper will lower the hostility from each opened glade by two. At the moment, we currently have two times ten hostility from opened glades, so instead it would be two times eight. Not very good at lower difficulties. Once again, at higher difficulties, that can be the difference between hostility four and hostility three. And that's a pretty big difference when it comes to what's going to happen to you during the storm. And when is our trader arriving? Oh, he's about to be here. Good. There he is. And he's selling fabric. Perfect. I don't even have to make any. I have a bunch of ancient tablets, which are worth a lot of money. So I'm going to sell them. He is selling an advanced rain collector as well. I wouldn't mind buying some pipes and then buying enough amber to unlock that. And 
Can I sell you some of my parts? Gosh, that's a lot of parts, though. What else could I sell him? Oh, I have all these copper bars that I don't have the ability to turn into tools right now. So if I sell him ten of those and then some parts, I'll still have seven. Or if I just sell two more of these. Oh, then I don't have to sell him any parts. Gosh, they're worth so much. Is there anything else I want to buy? I'm going to have a ton of bricks. I could buy planks, but I can make planks. Well, what I could do is buy planks and then sell wood to make up the difference. Yes. And then I can get the advanced rain collector, which is uh, way better than the default rain collector. And I may as well build it. And now that I have that fabric, I can also make the granary and start making pickles, which will get me skewers. And this game is going to go really fast. These are both open now, so I can turn in this heart of the forest. The next plague is a plague of malady. Villagers take longer rests and eat more. That doesn't matter. Rahatil tells me, you have the guardian's heart, but you still have a long way to go. Choose your next steps. Time is ticking, and as the years go by, the sealed ones will unleash even more terrible plagues. May the holy flame protect you. Yeah, okay. Gain reputation from resolve. Gain reputation from events. Or do a bunch of trading, but I don't have a way to make trade goods right now. So I'll probably just get points from resolve. I'm going to have food for my fox and my lizard. I don't have a great food for my humans yet. Although, I am going to be carrying back some porridge for my humans. Oh, and I got my cornerstone. Extra mushrooms, no thank you. For every 20 felled trees, global resolve increases. You know, since this is such an easy difficulty, that one's not too bad. I could employ a bunch of woodcutters and cut normal trees. That increases hostility because it's the seal map. But my hostility is at zero. Yeah, I'll take it. Screw it. You are allowed to cut down... Just avoid opening glades, but you're allowed to cut down any tree now. And more orders. Open glades, or deliver stuff. We'll open glades. Do trade routes, or deliver packs of crops. We'll deliver packs of crops. Plus, this will make humans happier, and it'll give me humans. Uh, theoretically, I could do that, like, right now. I think I have... I also, okay. I have another one that also needs me to make packs of crops. And I should be able to do that, especially if I tell people to stop eating roots and vegetables. Just eat the insects that we get. That should be fine. Let's even cut our way into this. I'm going to zoom out a bit so I can see more. It takes a long time for them to deliver everything from these abandoned caches. I could... I think this is something I should do. I'm going to make a warehouse in here. And I'm going to make it priority so that my builders build it first. And that'll really speed up the rate of turning in everything from the abandoned caches. on fuel. Is that so? Don't I have... Yeah, I have sea marrow. 
I sold a bunch of my wood. We're getting wood. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we don't need to cut into that from now on, actually. I wanted to cut in there just to get the extra insects, but we're no longer in drizzle, so I don't get extra insects. And now this is built. They're turning things in so much faster. Let's hire more woodcutters. Actually, make those foxes, because humans are better at making pickles. Uh, humans get a 10% crit bonus in buildings that have farming. So if you take the average, humans make 11 pickles instead of 10 pickles. And we'll lock that at 100 just so we don't overdo it. Look at how fast they deliver stuff. It's right next to the warehouse. It's perfect. Oh yeah, foxes like porridge too, now that I think about it. Alright, this is made. Is that every building that's now made? Looks like it. Make those packs. Wait, hang on. Don't make them here. I just realized. You can make packs of crops here. <laughs> At a much better rate. This place can make the packs of building materials. I bought fabric. Isn't... Neither of those are giving me building materials? Oh, turning in three of them are going to give me 20 more bricks. Okay. So make one out of bricks and one out of copper. That, that'll work. Another thing that I should have done is put a warehouse next to the farm here because these crops are not going to get harvested. We don't harvest them fast enough. But that's okay. The Plague of Malady has arrived. Not the end of the world. How did I suddenly get 10 packs of crops? My goodness. I didn't realize that happened so fast. I must have gotten a couple of crits. Uh, I do need the trapper's camp for these right here. So that works out. My lizards are super happy because they're eating skewers and pickles. It, even though it's during the storm, they're elated. And I currently have two workers not doing anything. Do not need to make packs of goods anymore. Just keep making pickles instead. Build this comfort. I'll get three more humans. Unlock another building. The butcher lets me make jerky. And oil. The tincture lets me make dye, ale, and wine. Lizards are the only ones that want jerky, and I'm already giving them two of their favorite foods. I really don't need to give them jerky. <clears throat> this might be another reroll situation. I think it is. Now, a tavern, that'll also increase everybody's resolve by three if I fully man that. So that'll be good. And let's put you guys in there. Turn 
turn in the building materials. Talk to the queen. Receive packs of provisions from every new villager. That one's pretty great. And then I'll get... This one gives me five villagers rather than four. So I'll do, take that. And most of my people are homeless at the moment. And we do need more planks. We'll make... I could make four human houses. But that takes planks and I don't have planks right now. So we're just going to make three normal houses. We will employ a full contingent of woodcutters. And let's make a trapper camp. What was the blueprint that they're asking me to pick? Oh, I just didn't realize I had another one. Uh, ale and incense. Coats. Only humans want coats. Foxes and lizards like boots. I'll take the ale one, I guess. Kind of forgot I had the stamping mill. Low on fuel. I don't care, man. Oh, you're allowed to... Yeah. Speaking of, cut your way in there. Slowly but surely, we're getting our rep. And if I favor the humans, that should also help us get that rep a lot faster. Yeah, now we're getting about 0.4 rep per minute. Oh, and I have trade routes available. I do not want to trade any of the things that they're willing to trade me. Now we are increasing our hostility because we're cutting down trees. Every 10 trees gives me two hostility that I cut down, it looks like. I can welcome these people to get some more workers. Sure thing. And I also got a salt vein that I could mine. Not necessary. I should really build another small hearth. May as well do that right here. And move my stone cutter over here. I got another reputation. The weaver would let me make boots. And I do have some leather, although not a lot. Sure. I'm not building those right now, but I could. Oh, where did I get a third lizard? I don't know, but I got one. Oh, it's from this camp. That makes sense. Do I have... I do. Okay. Let's move some of the housing over here. Actually, let's put it all the way over here in the corner. Houses do not have to be near anywhere. Your people don't actually visit them. Uh, the devs did experiment with having uh, people have to go to houses, but they realized pretty quickly that that made the game a lot worse to try and do it that way. So they didn't. Hello, Sahilda. What do you have for me? Anything that I care about? I mean, I could buy more food to turn into... pickles. There we go. And another 
couple of orders. Oh, I missed one of them, apparently. Discover a glade and I'll get more foxes and make foxes happy. You got it. Serve ale? I Sure. This one wants me to build two small rain collectors and deliver drizzle water. That's annoying, but I could do it. This one wants me to do some serious trading. Sure, I'll take that one. I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. What are the trades? Bricks. I mean, I could. Because I have the means to make bricks really efficiently, and I have a lot of clay. So I could do that. And sell some of the fabric that I bought before. Sure, we'll get that started. Everybody is so happy. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. I'd like to make a tavern, but I can't. Oh yeah, this was going to make pottery. Have we run out of pottery yet? No, we have so much pottery that we got from somewhere else. I'll make the stamping mill. We'll make bricks that way. So we have 20. Is there anything else I should build? I don't think so. I think just working on getting a tavern is fine. Oh, okay. My humans have gotten enough reputation that uh, it's hard to keep them happy enough. Plus, I ran out of porridge for them, and I don't have the means to make any other food that they like. So I'm going to have to rely on the last point of reputation being just from lizards and foxes. Which isn't awful, but it does slow things down. comes the storm. There's the heralding thunder. Also, I should make some packs of provisions. So I can keep doing my trade routes. The plague of darkness. You can't... The storm is longer. That's a good thing. Uh... And I can't sacrifice. That's fine. I wasn't sacrificing anyway. Make the tavern. Doesn't really matter where you put it. Uh, eventually you can upgrade your hearth to a district. And then you need to have a service building inside the range of the hearth. But until you have that unlocked, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna gather seed marrow. That's a better thing for those workers to be doing. And we have a hundred pickled goods. So I guess they can make fabric. Up to thirty. Thirty. There we go. Is it like a nitty-gritty version of Civ? Eh, not quite. Civ is a 4X game, which is expand, exploit, exterminate, something else. Uh, and Civ is turn-based. This is real-time with pause. See how I can pause it? It's a, it's a city builder. Civ's not a city builder. You do build cities, but, like, this game is only about making a single city, you know? Was that the official name, Heralding Thunder? No. I, I'm just poetic. I'm just cool like that. Oh, 
once they finished making the tavern. Do I have enough people? I do. And humans like working in the tavern. So I'm going to put humans in there. And there's other stuff I can sell. I will sell 27 insects. Are you laughing at me being poetic, Mom? Is that laughable to you? Oh, I just remembered something else about this game that is a recent change with the DLC. Every uh, every need that you fulfill, food and service, increases the chance of that uh, species under that influence of the service or the food getting a crit chance of producing double. So right now, my foxes and lizards have an extra 10% chance of critting, no matter what they're doing because they're so full of skewers and uh, pickles. Before the DLC, that was not how the game worked whatsoever. Not a population explosion. They're not making more workers. It's their production that they're building. In this case, like I'll, I have lizards that are gathering meat, and I have foxes that are woodcutters, I think, so they're getting extra wood. Now, I could get special houses for my foxes, but that's really not that useful. I have the means to do religion for my humans. I think. Did I get something that lets me do that? Yes, the distillery can do incense. I'll take the monastery. Oh, I got enough reputation to finish the next part of the seal. So we are going to power our guardian with mortal blood. The blood of the guardian already flows in its heart. Now we need something that will help it rise high above this evil land. With its countenance, it will shield our world from the terrors of the depths. Maybe I'll finally get to see it for the first time with my own eyes. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll make it happen, Rahatil. All right, I could just deliver money. I could have 15 total villagers that are experiencing complex food and 15 total villagers that are experiencing services. I'm actually very close to that if I just got some more lizards and foxes. Or I could just complete any Forbidden Glade event. Where's the nearest Forbidden Glade? There's one there. There's one there. I think this one's the closest. And that's kind of the most fun. At the same time, though, I am getting another 17 amber. So I could just turn in money. I'll probably just do that. It'll be pretty fast. Also, I have a bunch of workers. What could I have my workers be doing? Uh, oh, I, I can make more planks. That's a good idea. Each newcomer group gets two additional villagers. I like that. Oh, right, and I can make my monastery. I'll do that over here. And then I can make more bricks. Yes, queen. Uh, increase my wood production. How much wood do I have right now? I have a hundred. Eh. Hmm. I'll take Farsight. It'll make me finish Glade events faster. And then I'm going to cut into this Glade and then the Forbidden Glade, and then I could open these ones as well to make the event solve faster. That's not too bad. road this way. Make a 
getting our monastery. Is there anybody? Yeah, I'll fire another one of the humans. Go work at the monastery. So I can either get 10 more amber. I really only need to sell one to get 10 more amber total. Okay, this one's open. way into this one. They have made their planks. Okay. A forbidden event, I can excavate it. Hostilities increased for every five fallen trees. That, sure, it would be fine. Or I could calm the spirits. Uh, yeah, let's calm the spirits. That's not hard to do. And it will only take a minute to do because my reconnaissance is currently active. That's the first time I've ever taken that cornerstone. I, I don't think it's actually very good. But it certainly worked out this time. And I got a free butcher, or I could just salvage it to get fish, which I think I will do. Oh, look at all these orders that I'm ready to turn in. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> oh, porridge, perfect. That will make my humans a lot happier, and it will make my foxes even happier. I probably don't actually need this, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I should employ people in the rain collector. Although first I want to salvage this. More orders. I really don't think I need these. I'm not even going to talk about the ones I picked. I just sort of did it on a whim because it really doesn't matter. Carpenter lets me make luxury packs, tools, and planks. Yes, please. I will... Gladly build that. I'll actually put it over here. Hi, Zorg! Sure. Uh, give me eggs and vegetables. I'll give you amber. <laughs> Thanks, buddy! Oh, that was solved, so I can turn this in now. Oh, no, it's not solved. They're still carrying the tea to it. My bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they have to carry the stuff to it first. Then I should open... a glade to make it go faster. Well, I can do that. Let's open this glade right now. So as you can see, my reputation points are all the way up. But I haven't won yet, because the actual goal is to seal the ancient seal. Make this creepy red eyeball close. 
That's the actual goal. Okay, they've started. Just cut your way into there, please. Anybody? Cut the tree, cut the tree, please. Yes. There we go. Now they'll finish that in 50 seconds. That's pretty nice. Keep gathering clay. The Plague of Rats. What does that do? Uh, I'm losing food. I don't care about that. People! People. I will house the people. Clay. Bricks. I have so many unemployed people now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You can use any kind of rainwater you want to fulfill these. And you know what? Let's make another herb garden. Just so that... We do enough harvesting. And did I finish it? I did. Alright, the final one... Is to... Keep my humans and lizards really happy for six minutes. Easy. I'm just going to wait six minutes. Or no, five minutes. I can do math. <laughs> just five minutes, actually. And then I'll win the game. So, I, sure. Sure, I really don't care what I pick. I'm just going to leave everything on autopilot for... If I'm at times three, like a minute. So we can just enjoy some zen people movement right now. What does the creepy red eyeball represent? That is one of the ancient ones that has was sealed away millennia ago and they're the things that are causing the blight storm to occur in the first place. Why are my humans getting less happy? Why? I need you to stay up at 35, humans. Please deliver this food ASAP, lizards. Don't reset the timer. Ah, the timer got reset. Well, it'll still finish in five minutes. <laughs> Something I could do is just make human houses as well. That'll help keep my humans happy. Play somebody in the carpenter. I bet I know why the humans suddenly stopped being happy. It's because three of the resolve is coming from cutting down trees, and I didn't cut down enough. That's probably what happened. Yeah, because this one isn't even close enough to much wood. But just another two in-game minutes, and the seal will be sealed. One minute? Tick-tock. The next plague would be a plague of fire, which gets rid of my fuel, just like the last one got rid of my food, but it didn't matter because I had so much food. Oh, people... <laughs> I just realized, because I made human houses, uh, people moved out of the houses at my other hearth, and as a result, it uh, devalued itself. It deranked from an encampment. Are we finished? We are! All right. Watch the animation. Here we go. We make our beautiful phoenix guardian thing. And it closes the seal for us. Beautiful. It's done! The sealed ones are imprisoned once again. Thank you, Viceroy. You are not only saved our world, but also rekindled the flame of hope in our people. 
The faith in something that until now was only a legend of old. That feels a little dramatic, considering there's a ton of seals that I have to close. <laughs> Did you miss the animation? I couldn't pause it. Alright, well, there we go. Now, at the after you close a seal, the cycle has to end. So I can't do another game on this map. We're going to end it, and we will watch the Blightstorm cleanse the world. And because I closed the seal, I get some extra rewards. And then I had extra seal fragments, which also turn into extra rewards. And we'll end the cycle. We go back to our city on the volcano. A massive storm appears. The volcano is kept safe by the queen. And now we have a new map. Let's look at our rewards. Oh, first I should go to my home and see if my aunt has anything to say to me. Well, aren't you in a good mood? Lori looks at you with interest. Any news to share? I reforged a seal. Will you look at that? You actually made it. Well done. That must have been quite the challenge. Eh, I played uneasy. But as much as I hate to burst your bubble, you should know that it's not the end of your journey. This is only the beginning. How so? You've re reforged the bronze seal. That's undoubtedly an admirable feat. There's still other more menacing seals out there. Keep it up, kid. You're a fast learner. Aw, oh, thanks. The crown has already recognized your efforts. A little more and you may even be allowed to venture near the gold seal one day. Let's go back to the home. We can see I have a nice coat and a fishman skull with, I guess, fishmen eyeballs have bones. And I'll check my deeds. Uh, oh, I got a mask to go with my coat because I reforged the seal. Because I traded so much amber, I have unlocked the marble fountain, which is a decoration. I got a lot of special rep, another decoration, a road sign. And I've unlocked the blueprint for the big shelter, although for some reason it's not showing. That's kind of a bug. The big shelter takes planks instead of wood to build, but it's technically less resources if you don't count the amount of time it took to make the planks in the first place. All right, let's buy some upgrades and then I'll end this YouTube video. I can unlock the Lizard House. I could boost crit chance by 1%. I could increase the blueprint uh, reward pool. Definitely doing that one. I could unlock the embarkation bonus to have extra villagers. Definitely doing that one. And that's all of the food stockpiles I had access to to do upgrades. So, I'm going to end this YouTube recording here. If you watch this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like or a comment or whatever you feel like doing. I just appreciate the view numbers going up past one. I'll see you next time.